White House physician Sean Conley said during a briefing on Sunday that the president was given dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is a steroid that calms the immune system. This is important in the second phase of a coronavirus infection when the immune system can go haywire and start attacking the organs, a dangerous overreaction called a cytokine storm. The World Health Organization says the steroid can help those who are seriously ill with COVID-19. It has been shown to reduce mortality in patients with COVID-19 requiring oxygen or ventilator support. The WHO advises using the steroid in severe and critical cases. Trump's blood oxygen levels fell to 93 percent, and he was given supplemental oxygen along with dexamethasone. Opponents have suggested Trump could be mentally incapacitated because of the effects of dexamethasone, citing a video he made in which he said he learned a lot about coronavirus. Side effects include anxiety, mood changes, and cognitive impairment. But these are common, only in patients who have taken the steroid for a longer period of time. The White House said on Friday that Trump was given monoclonal antibody therapy, a cocktail of antibodies made by the company Regeneron that mimic an immune system response. The antibodies bind to the spike proteins that coat the virus, hindering its ability to infect human cells. They also make it easier for the immune system to recognize the virus. These monoclonals are an investigational cocktail. Clinical trials have been ongoing since June. Trump's doctors say the president is also taking zinc, vitamin D, famotidine, melatonin, and aspirin. It is not known if he is taking any of these for COVID-19.